At eight years old, Leroy Dixon knew he was destined to be a runner. I think my dad put the spirit into me when I was younger. So he put that spirit into me to be a champion. So I think um, it became my destiny. He says his running career began outside of the track in his hometown of South Bend, Indiana. So they used to let me run in the grass um, on the side of the track meet when everyone else was in the race. On the track, I was in the grass and I would just race all the big kids. Right here on this track is where Leroy Dixon started his college career from 2004 until 2006. In 2006, he became pro and signed with Nike, but it was here at the University of South Carolina where coaches noticed his talent and knew he was destined for success. Choosing USC, I think that I looked up Coach Fry and he was like, he had so many Olympians and he was producing professional athletes and that's what I wanted to do, so. He began training for the 100 meter event for the 2007 World Championship. And in eight short months, won a gold medal. Um, I just treated it like it was just a normal track meet. Um, I just talked to a lot of people, uh, had a lot of fun. We uh, did a lot of shopping and, you know, met a lot of different athletes in different countries. And Dixon has lived the dream, traveled the world to run, and is the last man to anchor a USA team in a major championship in the 100 meter dash. So track and field is an is, is a incredible sport for the whole world. Uh, and so Leroy had a chance to be in the number one sport in the world and be on the number one team in the world. And I had a chance to be the coach of a kid that was on the number one team in the world. Curtis Fry is the track and field coach at USC and says that Dixon is a true champion because he has returned to finish his education and get a degree in criminal justice. Like athletics puts him in a position to do academics, to go to college. Fry and Dixon believe that getting an education is necessary for an athlete's career. When I have kids one day, I don't want to just tell them that, you know, I went to college but I didn't finish. You know, I want to at least say I have a college degree. He says he returned to USC after the Olympics because it was a part of the process that his father set out for him when he was a child. It was part of the stepping stone of me becoming a champion. And in December, he will cross the finish line and receive his diploma. Rachel Tripp, Carolina News.